everyone, this is Captain Leon from Captain Leon's Boating and More. And I know some folks say there is no need to change your spark plugs every single year. I get it. For me, it's cheap maintenance. And I can tell you, if you do use fogging oil and fog your engine, which is a manufacturer's recommendation for those that winterize their boats, it does tell you right on the back that after storage, replace the spark plugs and run the engine outside in a well ventilated area. So it is not out of the box crazy to change your spark plugs once a year. And this year is the first year that I'm living life on the edge. Instead of using the OEM recommended spark plug, I am going to experiment with the Iridium version of the same plug I've been using, Iridium. Is it worth the money? Will it improve performance? Will it increase fuel economy? I have no idea, but we are gonna find out together right now. That's right, we gotta know first exactly how the OEM plugs perform before we can do a comparison to Iridium. The OEM factory plugs are a copper core spark plug, and not to bore you with the anatomy of a spark plug, but just know that that center electrode operates with a copper core running through it. You can see that that center electrode uh, has a V notch in it. And in a moment, you'll see how the Iridium plugs differ. So now let's hit a speed run with the OEM factory plugs. Okay, so our speed run results with the OEM factory plugs, we're looking at Yamaha speed of 49 miles per hour, but true GPS speed is around three miles per hour less than that, or 46 miles per hour factory spark plugs. All right, it's time for phase two of our experiment as we pull out the NGK factory plugs and put in the NGK Iridiums. Same model plug, but just with the difference of the Iridium center electrode. And when we take a look at that design of that Iridium plug, we can see the center electrode has almost a point to it. It's a little bit different than the copper core plug. And now we want to consider gap. The factory plugs are called for a 0.031 to 0.035 gap, uh, according to my Yamaha owner's manual. I found these new NGK plugs to be pre-gapped at 0.028. I spoke to NGK about this. They recommended just leave it with the preset gap as the plug operates a little differently than the copper core plug. So now it is time for our speed test with these new Iridium plugs because I gotta know right now. I gotta know right now. Okay, we're out here on the uh, SX190. This is a 2014 model. It is entirely stock. Uh, and uh, we're gonna do a little speed run right now. I just wanna be able to show anyone who's interested. Um, this is not a supercharged model. We can see that pretty easily by the fact that uh, you know, we don't have the supercharger installed here. Right, it's just naturally aspirated. Uh, it's 100% stock, with the sole exception of uh, there are iridium spark plugs in here, and there is AMSOIL uh, synthetic marine oil. Uh, outside of that, 100% stock. Uh, it's got a stock OEM 
uh, Impella by Yamaha, as well as a stock OEM uh, Impella housing. And uh, we're running 87 octane fuel, a uh, little Starbright fuel stabilizer in there, but um, outside of that, uh, nothing significant or special. So we're going to do a speed run here and uh, we'll get a sense of, of what we're doing. So, you know, of course we have a GPS speed that we'll be measuring, uh, not in one, but in two devices. We have the Lowrance uh, Elite 7 Ti2. That's gonna give us our speed there, uh, maximum speed. And of course, I have my uh, iPhone running the Navionics app, as well as we have the Yamaha speedometer. But, you know, the Yamaha speedometer, we all know, kind of tells you you're going about two or three miles an hour faster than you really are. So uh, let's, uh, let's get this puppy started. And uh, see what we'll do here. Um, we have a full tank of gas, a full tank of gas, and uh, we're looking at. Uh, I don't know if you can make it out, but it's 280.5 hours uh, on this engine. So let's see what we can do. Uh, I'm alone in the boat. And uh, so it's just my weight and the full tank of gas. Final GPS speed in this run was 45.3 miles per hour. Of course, wind, current, tide, everything plays a role, but no major significant difference from prior performance. All right, I just got done editing this video and it's time for the conclusion summary. Not buying it, bro, not buying it. I mean, the Iridium plugs don't really cost that much more money than the Copper Core plugs, but why even bother? I mean, if anything, I might have lost one mile per hour. So this just might be another example of when OEM is best. I know we always try to do mods and enhancements and make things better, but at the end of the day, sometimes, you know, you, you know the deal. OEM might just be best. So I'm going to go back to the copper core plugs. I want to thank you all for watching this video. If you're not already a subscriber to this channel, uh, please subscribe. Just hit that red button below that says subscribe. I mean, this 10 minutes of video took me hours, man, to make. Uh, it's ridiculous. So just say thanks by subscribing. And if you're already a subscriber, just make sure you hit that notification bell. So it'll go bing. Captain Leon's Boating and More has released a new video. Yeah, I mean, when that happens, there's nothing more exciting, right? So uh, be well, everybody, and happy and safe boating. Peace.